Hey there guys, I was working on a project recently and uh, needed to test a transistor. It turns out that transistor was bad, but exactly how did I find this out? Lucky for you, it's very simple to do. All you need is a multimeter, doesn't matter if it's cheap or expensive, analog or digital. I couldn't find my analog meter when I filmed this, so that's why it's not in this video. Any meters will work as long as it measures resistance. That's the ohms range. Now before we start, let me just point out that this method does not work with FETs, field effect transistors, only BJTs, bipolar junction transistors, so that's NPN and PNP transistors. That's it, so like 2N3904, 2N3906, those kinds of things. But yeah, you should know. If you're not sure, just check the data sheet. But I might make a video on how to test FETs later. If I do, there will be a link here. So. To start, connect your multimeter leads to your multimeter. Now set your meter to the ohms range. If your meter is not an auto ranging meter, you're going to want to set it to the highest range, as we're probably going to be measuring in the order of mega ohms. Now, believe it or not, it's actually nice to know how to use chopsticks while doing this, because then you can just hold everything and you don't have to worry about setting stuff down. But if you don't, it's not the end of the world, just put stuff on the table. I'm just going to hold stuff though for this video. So now that we have all everything set up, what are we actually going to measure? Well, first we need to know the pinout of our transistor. Usually either flat spot or tab if it's in a metal can will face towards you. And going from left to right, the pins are emitter, base, collector. Now if you're not sure about this stuff, just check the pinout in the data sheet. Just search the part number on Google and you should be able to find something pretty quick. Now I know this is an NPN transistor, it's actually a 2N3904, it's very common. Now if you don't know what type of transistor you have, if it's just some mystery transistor, this will most likely tell you if it's good, bad, NPN, or PNP. Now to start, we're going to measure the resistance between the emitter and base. Touch your negative probe to the emitter and positive to base. You should get a reading. If the transistor doesn't conduct anything, try reversing your probes, with positive touching the emitter and negative to the base. If your transistor conducts this way, it's PNP. If your transistor conducts both ways, it's shorted and will not work. Now we're going to do the same thing again with the collector and base. Negative on the collector and positive on the base for an NPN transistor should give a reading the other way around, so positive on the collector and negative on the base should not conduct anything and you should not get a reading. Again, if you get a measurement both ways, your transistor is probably bad. And if it's the other way around with negative on the base and positive on the collector, then you have a PNP transistor. Now finally, we're going to measure between the emitter and collector. If you get a reading, then your transistor is probably either messed up or you have the pinout wrong but you probably have the right pinout now so if you have troubles remembering all this stuff just think of the name if your transistor is NPN that's how it should conduct negative probe on the emitter and positive on the base should conduct but not the other way around negative on the collector and positive on the base should conduct but not the other way around. The same thing goes for PNP, but the negative lead should be connected to the base. Just think of those three letters. The first is the emitter, the middle is the base, and the last one is the collector. Hopefully this video could help you with testing transistors. If there's any questions that you might have, just please put them in the comments below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks for watching. Now, if you really like this video, give it a like. And if you want more of this kind of stuff, maybe even subscribe so you're notified when I upload new stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.